In this video, we're going to discuss a concept called the elasticity of substitution. In particular, uh, the elasticity of substitution in production. Okay, so uh, the elasticity of substitution, that's sigma here, it measures the proportionate change in the capital labor ratio relative to the proportionate change in the marginal rate of technical substitution along the same isoquant. It's a very useful tool which we which we'll know later on uh, determines how curved okay how curved an isoquant is, and it was since the isoquant represents behavior in production it has a lot of uh, uh, intuition as we go along. So uh, that uh, sigma which is the elasticity of substitution is computed as the percent change. Okay, the percent change in the capital labor ratio divided by the percent change in the marginal rate of technical substitution. So assuming both of them change, okay, uh, th that will yield the elasticity of substitution. And we can break this down by using derivatives. Okay, so that's basically the derivative of the capital labor ratio with respect to MRTS. Okay. And we need to, of course, uh, apply the chain rule. So we have to multiply MRTS LK over K over L. And since we're dealing with percent, another way to look at it is if we're dealing, we can take the natural log and we can do this partial derivative here. Okay, now, one thing to note is the value, okay, the value of uh, sigma is always positive because uh, the capital labor ratio and the marginal rate of technical substitution, they move okay, in the same direction. So uh, we'll do this graphically now. So consider this example. So we have here an isoquant. This is our isoquant, which is uh, the level of Q. Okay. So that isoquant there is present. And uh, what happens is uh, we're going to track the change okay, as we go from A to B. Okay, and what you'll notice is at point A, uh, it's the value of MRTS, LK, which is the negative of the slope of the isoquant, is given by that uh, orange line there. So that's this line here. So that's the slope, uh, that's the negative of the, that, well, that's the slope of the isoquant at that point. Uh, and that's the negative of the slope, which is MRTS, LK. Then this dashed line here, okay, so if you notice, okay, at point A, the firm will employ KA units of capital and uh, LA units of labor. And if you want to compete for the ratio, your capital labor ratio, well, that's just like drawing a line, okay, bisecting that rectangle there. And you get that ratio and you can get that, uh, the, the, that angle there is your capital labor ratio uh, for point A, okay. What you'll notice is that as you go down, okay, as you go down the iso uh, the isoquant, since the isoquant is strictly convex, okay, the MRTS gets lower and lower, and this is again the manifestation of the diminishing marginal rate of technical substitution. Okay, so as you can notice, the slope, uh, the MRTS LK value at B is much flatter. Okay, is much flatter than the MRTS LK at, uh, at point A. So it, this is, if you were to compute a value for it, this would be a lower value than MRTS LK here uh, at A. Now at B, okay, again, uh, the firm can employ, okay, KB will employ KB units of capital and um, LB units of labor. So to get the capital labor ratio, again, we draw a diagonal line bisecting that rectangle there, and we can get this capital labor ratio there for B. And we notice it's relatively, uh, well, uh, more acute okay, than the angle K over L uh, A. Now, all we can notice here is that uh, first, sigma, which is your elasticity of substitution, is the ratio, okay? of these proportional changes, okay? These proportional changes. And more importantly, okay, sigma represents, okay, or measures rather, measures the curvature, okay? The curvature of an isoquant. So 
uh, it has key implications, which we'll discuss. So what you'll notice is that, okay, if sigma, or okay, which is the elasticities of substitution is high, okay, the MRTS, okay, MRTS LK will not change much, much relative to uh, K over L, meaning the change, K, okay, this angular change here will be greater than the change in the, sl uh, in the marginal rate of technical substitution, which implies that the isoquant, is relatively flat, relatively flat. So if you try to draw it, so this is K, this is L, it's a relatively flat isoquant, okay? Now, if sigma, which is your elasticity of substitution, is low, okay, uh, the MRTS, okay, will change by a substantial amount, will change by a substantial amount as KL changes, as your capital labor ratio changes, meaning the curve or the isoquant will be relatively uh, sharply curved, so something like that. Uh, something uh, My drawing's not that good, so uh, let me redraw quickly. It's so just something more sharply curved, something like that. Right. And it's possible, okay, for sigma to change along an isoquant as the scale of production changes. So it, it really depends. And again, so to summarize all of this, the LSC of substitution just measures the proportional change, okay, in uh, your capital labor ratio and the marginal rate of technical substitution. And uh, it measures, ID in, uh, in reality, the curvature of an isoquant.